course, there's two matches on here tonight, and uh, a real high quality one between Ali Carter and Tom Ford. There was an exchange of. It's in need of cover. And he anxiously looks across. Yeah, the worst outcome to hit too much of the red is, is leaving the other one. Made that mistake all snooker players make. Concerned about the cue ball, forgot the obvious bit, the pot. And now, one or two other others have crept in. Interesting to see how this frame. One. Terrific. Played like that. Right about exactly that, hitting the jaw of the middle pocket. Yes, I think he's left the middle red. One. Seven. You didn't want to risk playing on the, the black in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's a better shot than it looked. He's slightly hampered by the pack of reds underneath him. Grew into these with plenty of options. That'll do him. Nineteen. Once again, that's a beautiful positional Thank shot. On nothing. But he didn't do so. Twenty five. I wouldn't have deserved that. <laughs> it was a, an opportunity. I don't think he looked at his brilliant best, but as I said, if he could get to two all, I think he's got a lot to work with there. Open this frame up, only shot after shot. A little blue. And you're more likely to get lucky. 41. You know, the cue ball zipped into the bunch and back out of them. Well, that's something about his game that's never changed. He's a professional, steady two. 46. Again. Stretching on one there. Very handy break. I mean, you won't be pleased with it, but it's still quite an effective break. And all these reds safe, it makes him favoured in the frame, whatever Jerry Long is left here.
one. Well, it's clearly not a straightforward table, but equally the frame could have been over. He can at least get back. In. Yeah, you're right. He can move to within a few points of O'Sullivan, and he's not awkward reds. Didn't have to play it, but it might be there. Oh, he's played it all right. Oh, he's going to have to get this the thinnest of edges on this. Oh, goodness. He just didn't look on and uh, if you can't defy the, the, the law of physics or geometry. Or I don't even know what it's the, the law of, but if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. Well, it's kind of a snooker law, isn't it? That he was trying to defy. Red could have finished anywhere. Brown kissed it. Just pops to this corner. I think he was lucky, though. I have a feeling, unless my eyes deceive me, that that was a double kiss. Oh, I'm not sure it double kisses. No, I reckon it did. Not sure as I was though. <laughs> oh, that's a brilliant. Two reds in open play. Should see him home. <coughs> has been a, a feature of his season. It hasn't all been amazing. It hasn't all been that, but it, a lot of it's been just battling when he's had to. Seven. Yeah, I mean, there have been two tournaments since he went up in Leicester in the World Grand Prix, which he hasn't played in the German Masters. Seven. He's won them both in the in the past, but he wasn't going to win them this year. It's just a little bit rusty, but isn't there. He's putting in hours on the practice table, isn't quite the same thing. And like I said earlier, he would be pleased to get the interval all square, I think. There's an argument that Joey Long has been marginally the better player. He's still got to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan, that's the point. And if, even if he's not at his best, you've still got to get the win. You've got to take your chances. Joey Long has played well at times tonight, for sure. Yep, and the print. But this frame has gone, and it's...